my relationship with my father and my family, it started out uh, like any other family. I'm pretty sure that it was during the time when my father was, a lot of people know about the story about him being excommunicated from the Nation of Islam. And, uh, and as a child, I, I don't have any recall of uh, being a member of, a, of the group, the Nation of Islam or that community. We had a normal family life. My father went to work, he was a welder. He went to the steel mill and um, we waited for him to come home and we sat down and ate dinner as a family like everyone else. Uh, we were aware that we were Muslims, and uh, but there wasn't a conscious awareness that we were different. My father never put emphasis on the difference in, in faith and faith-based people. He just taught us the basics of faith and what we believe in our relationship to God and what uh, was expected of us, uh, of us as, as faith-based faith people. God says to us of Muhammad that his model as a human model is enough to satisfy any people who believe in God and the last day. Any people, Christian, Jews, and others. He is enough as a human model to satisfy, he's sufficient to satisfy any people who believe in God and believe in the last day. He was a totally 100% uh, selfless man when it came to service, that he uh, believed in the revealed word of God in, in, in the Quran and in the scripture, and he believed that he, in his ability uh, to help, to help, uh, which he, he, he didn't come on this on his own, that he inherited the responsibility from his father. We are raised up to show the world what righteousness looked like. Yes, sir. <laughs> and how it feels to be righteous. Yes, sir. Go ahead, dear apostle. Bearing a man of his past and putting him on the right road. This is a wonderful thing. Yes, sir. For 43 years, I have been teaching that one day you will wake up to know. You will wake up and agree with me. From the looks of your numbers here today, it seems that you're waking up. Yes, sir. His main focus was to serve the followers, the former followers of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and the community that he inherited the leadership of, and to stay in a direction that he knew would lead us uh, to, the, to the proper um, guidance and religion. Honorable Elijah Muhammad, I'm sure, attracted 70,000 or more of vow followers. And they were attracted to the same thing, but also to different things. When I was a boy and a teenager in my early teens, I felt that most of the followers were attracted to something that was of a holy nature. Holy nature. By the 60s, when the civil rights of evil were strong, and our people all throughout these United States were asking for better material conditions, etc., the Nation of Islam under the honor of Elijah Muhammad, or the Holy Temples of Islam, attracted a new mental makeup. Their makeup was more physical. Ours was more spiritual. Malcolm was the leader of that more physical time. Under the leader, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. 
my man, Imam Wathani Muhammad, and my father, he was one of the wisest and the most capable uh, leader in applying uh, uh, his instruction and what he wanted us to have. Uh, so he would say something uh, simple, and it would just stick in your mind, and it would benefit you. Would continue to benefit from it if you, if you, if you held on to it. We should be making contributions to the betterment of of mankind, not just to ourselves, our families, and our neighborhoods, but to mankind. And if you do your work for yourself in the right spirit, your work will be a contribution to all people in the spirit of obedience to God in the spirit of unity with all humanity, in the spirit of cooperation with all the good forces and good minds of mankind on this earth. If you do your separate work in that spirit, your separate work is going to be not only a great contribution to yourself and your family and your neighborhood, it's going to be a great, great contribution to mankind. What we are building in the United States of America for our life as Muslims in this country. We are doing it for ourselves, but we are doing it in the spirit of a true Muslim follower of the model man, Muhammad. And what we are doing is going to benefit not only us, but other people. I was just amazed at his energy and his level because I had simple tasks, you know, as a young man in the house, you know, to take care of my little space in the home and and to be on time for school and or to be on time for work because I mostly worked for him and uh, to take care of my responsibilities and to uh, you know and to li live a, a uh, uh, to live a productive life. And then when I saw, see the work that he was doing, uh, the first thing that came to my mind uh, was that he was an athlete. <laughs> he was physically fit. I think about the hours I used to hear the bag down there, you know, it, was, it almost sounded like a music. It was a natural rhythm, uh, the body bag in our basement and uh, his jump rope hitting the floor, you know. <laughs> so this is something that was a natural occurrence. And uh, I remember I joined a little league baseball team and uh, we used to work out and uh, at, at practice. So my father, he would come and pick us up for pra from practice. And so uh, during that time, I would uh, he would often take us to the park to play baseball also. And we would do sit-ups and push-ups and, and exercise. And, and uh, it was something he really enjoyed and, and loved to do was to stay physically fit. And he was a strong man to hit uh, early age. God is always in charge. We are not even in charge of ourselves. God is always in charge. But he is the hidden force. He is the hidden force. And he is watching over us according to scripture. He's watching over us all the time. And he, he knows when we are going to veer off course and have a terrible collision and cause great destruction to ourselves and others. God knows that. And sometimes God's let that happen. And God is in the accident. And God is in control of the accident. And God comes out unaffected by the accident. And we recover and don't know that it was God all the time. 